Before I get into this video, let me ask you guys one question. What do you think our My Career players are supposed to be? Superstars, all stars, or just regular stars? I asked that question because that ties into everything I'm about to say right here. Let's start off with Lockdown Defender as our first archetype. Now, obviously, the number one lockdown defender in the league right now, in my opinion, is Kawhi Leonard. Now, let's look at Kawhi's game. Kawhi Leonard not only can lock down, but he can also score and lead his team. Now, let's look at the attributes that 2K itself gives Kawhi. We're going to use my team because my team's one of the most popular modes on the game, obviously. Now, if I just showed you both of these charts and I asked you to pick one, you'd probably just go ahead and pick the one on the right just because a majority of the attributes are better than the one on the left. But what if I said to you, you had to play for 50 hours to get the one on the right side and you only had to play for 20 to get the one on the left. Now, maybe some of you guys would pick the one on the left now. Now, as you guys got more options and more ratings, you guys could make your decisions from there. But basically, long story short, on the right is Stephen Curry, on the left it's Kawhi Leonard. Now, if you look, his athleticism outside scoring is very similar to Stephen Curry's, but his lockdown is way better than Stephen Curry's, which would make it a good choice to pick a Kawhi type build over maybe a Stephen Curry type build being a sharpshooter. I can hear some of you guys already. Not everybody can be Stephen Curry. Not everybody can be Kawhi Leonard. But think about it. Is that not what our my players are supposed to be? They're supposed to be a new breed, a mixture of everything. Now, I haven't even gotten into LeBron James yet. I'm just talking about Curry and Kawhi. That's it. But let's be real. That's what our my players are supposed to be. That's, at least that's what I think. I don't think we're supposed to be Kyle Corvers. Why would they make it so we can only shoot threes? Think about that. My beef with playmakers is less with the fact that they're underrated and more with the fact that they're overrated. The idea of a playmaker in 2K is so much different than what I would think it would be in real life. Like, let's think about all of the playmakers in the NBA right now. Those are considered to be, what, pure point guards? So I would say something like Chris Paul, maybe Boston Celtics Rondo, Ricky Rubio, somewhere along those lines. When is a playmaker somebody who can run to the basket, dunk on you, get ankle breaker animations all the time? Rick, I don't think Ricky Rubio has ever crossed somebody up. Now, Chris Paul has, maybe Rondo has, but I don't think that someone like Ricky Rubio does that, which is why I say you have to be consistent in where you place our my players. Why is it that lockdowns are supposed to be just regular Tony Allens, but playmakers have to be um, some... I don't even know who they are. Like, what NBA player are they? Maybe LeBron or something like that? Like, young LeBron? I, I don't know. Now, this one right here is a more complicated subject because there were so many slashers in the league that I really don't know where you're supposed to place them. But at the end, I have an idea for you guys that I feel like could make 2K so much better next year. Now, a slasher, in my opinion, would be Froby, DeMar DeRozan, Paul George, James Harden, Kyrie Irving, LeBron. Notice how I'm mentioning different types of slashers. DeMar DeRozan can dunk on you, but James Harden is most likely just going to do a Euro step and draw the foul, something like that. Kobe would dunk on you. LeBron James back when he was younger, same situation. Derrick Rose, he was just trying to get the layup. So there were so many slashers that I really don't know where to put them. But I feel like this right here can be what solves all the problems with archetypes i say don't get rid of them but make it set up kind of like this if i want to be a james harden i should be able to pick slasher as my main archetype and then be able to pick playmaker as my secondary now that would be able to rise up my driving layup but at the same time it also raises my driving dunk maybe i you know i get to the basket whatever draw the foul so that way I have more of a James Harden type build. Or maybe if I want to be able to shoot outside like James Harden can, I'll be able to pick a shot creator and a slasher. So that way I can mix things up like that. Now I feel like if you take these archetypes and people are allowed to mix them, it makes it so you have more without you doing more work. Now how should that work? I feel like it should be pretty much set up like averages. So if my three point shot as a sharpshooter maxes out at 99 and as a lockdown, it goes to 50. Then 
maybe my three-point shot should be a 75. Something like that. I didn't calculate the actual average. That was just what I just said. I, I, I don't know. But it should be something like that. I feel like that would make everybody's players different. Now, obviously, the heights, everything like that will make a difference in that. So, will there really be a perfect my player, or will there just be people who can thrive at the things that they like to do best? To make players just like the NBA players that we're supposed to be able to make a match. They model them in the beginning of the game like we're able to make players just like them. But it's really false. Unless you break the game and mess with hot spots and stuff like that, that's a different story. You should be able to actually tweak your player the way you want it using dual archetypes. Tell me what you guys think about that in the comment section. Bed, I'm under Nico chandeliers. Can't say too many names that had these kind of years. Night sweaters and these icy diamonds on my wrist. Ice cube looking nigga, you know life a bitch. I once got no allowance, now I got the crown.